their, their experiences have not, their experiences, the church says or teaches one thing and then does another, has made it so that, yeah, none of our kids are really interested in participating anymore because of how different our family has been treated. Yeah, I think one of the lessons that we wanted to share here today is that there is a lot of good that comes from the church. Ironically, a lot of the bad comes from some of the same things. Which and, is normal. And I think that... I think it's important to see both sides of the coin. It's a whole coin. I'll shut up. Sorry, go. You're supposed to throw chocolate at me. Yeah, I can't. I'm not doing that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I want people to recognize that that kind of thing happens on lots of different levels. And, and obviously, you want the same thing. We want to see the good and bad that comes from things so that we can find a place where we can happily partake of the good without passing on the bad. We might not be able to avoid all the bad because not everybody's doing the same thing. But I can, if I choose to stay in the church, I can benefit from the good things and recognize where the bad things are so that I'm not passing them on to someone else. And and I think that's why this is so helpful. And then go. I was going to say two sides, same coin has value. I don't think... You know, if I take a quarter and one side of it's dirty, we can look at that back side of the quarter and be like, oh, that's dirty. Maybe we need to plop it in a bowl of vinegar or right. wash it off or, or something. Quarter hasn't lost its value right. in this case. <laughs> I think one of the challenges within Mormonism is it's very difficult for the leadership, and I'm talking about the high up leadership, to really talk about some of the, the bad things or, or where these great skills that they're teaching have their limits because they're not willing to talk about them and address them head on. Yes. The church has really developed a really toxic culture that is very difficult for those who don't fall in line to remain a part of that community. We learn yeah. best by being able to talk about our limitations. And so I think that, yeah, there's a lot of good things. And, and one of the things we demonstrated today is every single one of our good things, we were like, and this is the ugly side of that coin. Yeah. If we can address the ugly, we have the power to course correct and change it. Not that it'll ever be a perfect organization. It won't be. No right. organization and will ever be perfect. we're not looking for it to be. We have humans in it. And humans yep. are, you know, historically... And the leaders Bad, are human. Horrible. We've all done horrible things. Right. We're not expecting the leadership to be right. perfect either. Right. But as we can learn to value the good while still talking about and owning the bad, we really have the most power to change, to have that positive social change and become something better and learn and grow and and do do yes. things differently in a way that helps more people. 